Hello, my name is Larry D. Reed. I'm the host of Larry Reed Live that comes on several times a week and it airs simultaneously on YouTube and Facebook. You should make the decision to follow me either on Facebook or YouTube. The way that you can know that I am live is by texting Larry Reed Live with no spaces to 33222. All right. There are a few things that is on my mind right now that I want to talk to you on Instagram about, and this is also going to be airing on YouTube and Facebook, and I'm probably in the chat. All right, so <clears throat> number one, I am in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where I live, although I live in other places as well, but this is like my main, the main place that I stay. So this election is ex was extremely important to me and to what happens here in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, what's up, CEO Cliff Jones? I hope you're doing well because I know how close you and Tracy Braxton were. Uh, oh, dog! I want to talk about R. Kelly too. I didn't put that in the title, but I'm adding him to the conversation. But getting back to Warnock. Warnock, of course, by now you all know that he won. And as a result, the Democratic Party have more seats in the upper chamber. I'm not really a Democrat, Republic type dude. I vote for whoever. I feel like that what they are saying their policy is and what they stand for, whoever talks the way I feel. Cause I'm really more independent if I got the word label. It'll probably be ind independent. That's who I vote for. And I did go right in there on the other day and I voted for Warnock. Bump. Um, Hershey. Dizzy. That man is so dizzy. Somebody got to be able to stop him from spinning. You can just tell that every time he talked that he just freshly spunked. Somebody had just turned him right around and all his words and thoughts is jimbed. Oh, thank you so much for buying a, a badge, R. Jones 75050. Thank you. So anyway, there's that. So we're so glad that we do not have to fool up with her sin. Oh, thank you so much for buying the badge, Carmel A. Marie 07. Now, second thing that I want to discuss is Aventur Gray. I've done an interview with Aventur Gray. And I put up clips from that interview on IG. I probably have two or three more that I'm going to put up, and that's going to be complete. Some of the meanest per people in the world showed up in the chat and was dragging her glasses, dragging her hair, and dragging her overall look. When that's a pretty woman, I was looking at her eyeball to eyeball. She's beautiful. Thank you, CEO Cliff Jones and Bossy Reed 33 and King Fuzzy. Y'all gonna make me come on um, Instagram and talk all the darn time. Okay. <laughs> um, and I thought that that was really mean. And hell, if that's like somebody coming to my house and then the people that's part of my family is treating them bad. I hate it, but I can't stop it. But I don't like it. Because I know they see them comments and depending on the kind of person they are, it affects them. And I hate that. I absolutely hate that. So if you are LRL, so there's a different, difference between the people that view LRL when thousands of people are in the chat live and then people who are LRLers. I'm asking that the LRLers will tear people an extra asshole when they come into the chat talking bullshit. Can y'all do that for me? What's up? Thank you so much, MZ Kid eighty six. Thank you. That's a that's a thing. That's a three dollar nine nine cent badge. You ain't playing. You you love 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 me for real. Thank you so much. So I saw Aventur the Avenger in real life more than once. The woman is pretty. She's pretty, and it's her business. Okay, I don't know why I'm having a connection issue, but it's her business if she wants. If she chooses to stay with her husband. Although he has had these emotional um, conversations and maybe sexual conversations with these women. It's a form of cheating. But that form of cheating she okay with. Well, she was, she is okay with it at this moment. Meaning that she left but she came back 
but she's not in the mode of divorcing. Now, had he exchanged fluids, that's what she said, she would have been gone. I don't think he have too many more chances of talking to somebody sideways, particularly about her. I don't think he have too many chances. But she discussed so much other stuff, but everybody was stuck on that and dragging her because she decided to stay with her husband. That's dumb as hell. Oh, thank you so much, Jonathan Journal, for a badge and LJ4293 for a badge. Thank you. It's her during the husband. It is the pain that she rides, not you and I. So there's that. All right, the other thing that I want to discuss is Mary Mary. Joshua 88 Keys, thank you so much. Mary Mary was on Jimmy Fallon. I think that's the name of the night show that was on. They sung. He's the greatest, greatest thing, the biggest, greatest thing I've never seen. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the words, but I love the morning story. I love that. One of my favorite songs by them. They sung it live. Erica Campbell's voice to me has always stood out amongst the sisters. Thank you, Pretty Mortician 80. Thank you so much. The reason why her voice has stood out is because the way that she rides the melody. It is unique and it's exceptional. Her ear to hear it is exceptional. And she rides, she, she, her choices is very unique. And so she stood out to me for that. Of course, I was raised by women. So whenever her sister, Tina Campbell, would hit the, ah, ah, all the high notes, ah. All that, the growl and that kind of going on. I, I, of course, my ears heard that. And, of course, that we just naturally pay attention to these high sopranos, even when men hit high soprano notes. But I get intrigued by low tones and by melodic tones and textures. And so she always stood up to me. I don't know if this was one of her best vocal live performances, but... This was definitely one of Tina Campbell's better live performances. They, it was good seeing them together. Tina looked like she was having a great time. I can feel that Erica was so happy to be on stage with her sibling. It's been rumored that they are going to be doing a second album. Meaning, not a second album, another album. Um... It was announced by Erica. I ain't heard Tina say it, but I believe Erica was telling the truth. I'm pretty sure they discussed it before she said it publicly, but they're going to be doing the album. However, Tina and her husband, is it Teddy? I think it's Teddy. Y'all, they released a new Christmas song. The Christmas song is so Hot. If you are a Mary Mary fan, that song, you're going to hear Mary Mary, and it just sounds like, of course, Teddy is on it, but it sounds like it's Erica and her husband. What is her husband's name? Dark skin, pretty white tea, a pastor. Walt, Walter, William. What is it? What's up? What's her husband's name? Somebody put it in the chat what her husband name is, um, T uh, Erica's husband. I know Tina's husband, Warren. It sounded like it was all four of them doing the track. That's what it sounded like. Go and listen to the new Christmas single called Our House, I think it is. I enjoyed the music video as well. Absolutely. I love it. You know, I, I love this thing keep pausing for poor connection. I'm sitting right here by the water name. I do not understand. But anyway, so there's that. So that's Mary Mary. Now, what's the other thing in my title I said I'm going to discuss? Yep, what's all in my title? Oh, Kilpatrick. Pastor Natalie Kilpatrick. Now, did you see the video on my IG of the woman in white? And she was speaking very strong about same-gender loving people. 
Well, I've heard so much information from so many people. And because two of the sources are so um, trustworthy, I'm going to tell you what they said. Thank you so much, the official CJB, for buying a badge. Thank you, Carrie Jones, for buying a badge. I must have missed it, but you got some things, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got to do R. Kelly, too, but let me do Kilpatrick first. All right. So, Pastor Natalie Kilpatrick, when I saw this video, I felt like that who was she who was she talking about what is she talking about why in this women's event she's talking about male homosexuality she really didn't lay into the female aspect of homosexuality but she laid into male homosexuality i said why well, something done happened and tv show allegedly apparently that i am correct so it's been alleged that her husband that she recently put away, she put away that husband because he like a little ping every now and again. He loved his family, but he loved his friend. I said he like a little ping every now and again. Thank you, Kaya. And as a result, you know, some women, women can sit with that. Some women like to actually watch that. But She's not one of those women that enjoy knowing that she has to share her pain with other young men. And depending on whether he's a top or a bottom, if he has been plummeted by another man and she has to call him Lord and not Lady, it's difficult. And they can't handle that. Now, if he is topping like we saw in the Dawkins, Dwayne Dawkins, I think his name. Is topping. Some women can they can fool up with that, but then some women just feel like I don't want what you dug up out somebody else's bread basket, deposited into my puss, give me an infection, and I end up with a poo poo puss. So, some women, but no matter what you have to face, young woman, with your man. If you happen to have a mic, whether it's the internet or a pulpit, can you try really hard not to let that come over into what it is that you're doing? Because I just felt like something had happened to this woman because it was too much and it wasn't even the occasion for it. And this is a women's service. So why is she talking about male homosexuality? This woman has been through a whole lot. I understand her pain. I understand what she went through and apparently... This was something that they were going through. She had forgave more than one time. But now, at this point, she just ain't happening. So that's why they call her Pastor Natalie Kilpatrick when she ain't really nobody's pastor. Because when she ain't with him no more, then she ain't no pastor no more, from what I understand. Yeah. So that is unfortunate. But let me say this. We can't be too hard on her because so many people use their platform or in the internet this thing keep pausing, I'm sorry. Um, or the internet, or us have an opportunity to sit with a few people to start spewing whatever they feel about someone or something as a result of what their experience or their thoughts and opinions are. We all do it. But let's try not to do it <laughs> on the public platform, on the social media, and over pulpit if you got a mic. Last thing that I want to talk about. <sighs> Say he denies that Larry, but the folks from my area are talking. Okay, that tell them to call me. You know, I don't I don't mind, you know, I don't mind. I'm just saying, listen, like I said, I don't know if, if it's the truth. Now I'm just telling you what somebody said, and two of the people that told me are two people that's pretty trustworthy. You know, but hell if I know. But those people could those two people could be friends with her, and that's her story. You just never know. You just never know. You can't even tell you something. You just never know. We might discuss it, but the reality is it ain't really none of our darn business because we not fucking her or her husband. All right, next conversation is R. Kelly's. That it is not really our concern because we not fucking her, Natalie, or her husband. Or husband. Because they're not together no more. All right, so uh, 
Let my food is here, so this is about to be wrapped. All right. Thank you, Carmel Marie. Oh, I already you already showed me. Um, what's the name? Okay, so let me um talk about R. Kelly. Look, bring in that place. I can drink it. I know y'all getting turned on while I'm licking this up. I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm, about, to, I'm about to see it through the roof, ladies. I'm about to see it through the loop, roof. Look here. <laughs> ah! All right. Who's the cow? It's a rib. It's two of them. Two bones. Oh, my God. We thank you. We thank you. He made this here two ribs, and he made this here coleslaw. I know he made this Brunswick stew, mm -hmm. and he made this barbecue that I'm gonna mix with the slaw pumps my plate. Ha! My God! My God! My God! What's this over here? Sauce. Put it in the refrigerator. I'm using it for dippings. <laughs> yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. It is. Now, this here, I, I don't do the white bread because that right there give you mitties. Man, you know what I'm talking about? It's man titties or man boobs, moves. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We're not doing that. All right. So, anyway, our careless. Well, somebody has sent me a, a, a clip, it was a picture frame, of R. Kelly's got new music. I said, no, he ain't here at the, he at the jailhouse. Jailhouse? Oh. Schoolhouse? Oh, huh. Y'all see I put that slaw on top of that barbecue like that? <laughs> That's going to be some kind of good. My toes going to be curled. See, y'all toes curl in the bedroom. Mine curl in the kitchen. Ah! Come on here. See, it's the rib, two bones, barbecue. The best that Georgia can do because they can't do it like North Carolina. Hold on, I'm going to tell you what it tastes like. Hold on, really, hold on. They done extra well today. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. It's amazing. I thank him that I'm able to have a few little dollars to buy already made. All right. R. Kelly's. Somebody sent me a clip of R. Kelly's. And I said, man, this thing pausing again. I don't know what's wrong with Adrian. I said, now he in the jailhouse. Why? How is he able to make music? I ain't surprised no more about what happened in jail. They got cell phone. My godson is in jail for a whole murder. And he nicely hits me up on the IG so I hear from him. So anything is possible. So Old Brit Barbecue in Atlanta. Natchez, write in the chat the name of this place. Anyway, I got the combination plate, the rib and, and barbecue and slow combination plate. I ain't gonna eat all this. This is how I get away with it and keep losing weight. I eat, I got about a few more bites and then I throw it away. Cause if I keep it, I'm gonna eat it later on. So <laughs> that's how I do. 
So I said, let me go over there to um, Apple Music and see if it's there. Because I remember they took all the music and stuff down. I thought, or oh, what it just Spotify. Anyway, I went over there to the Apple Music Thank you, K Butterfly Fly 31. Thank you. Y'all, that's my um, graphic genius creator. Claude Hamilton just came in. If you need some stuff done, run over there to him. Make sure you tell him that I sent you them. Because otherwise, he's going to give you a white folk price. Because they want price for white folk because we have to get the money back from Master Nim and, and for Ruck, the American system, the capitalist system. They don't do us right. We still ain't got our reparations, so they have to pay for it. So we charge them more and then black folk price. Oh, thank you so much, um, Naomi Ransom. Girl, I can't say that. Lord Jeffrey Smith, did you say you see your cousins on the wall? You exactly right. <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay, so I went to the song. It's in three parts, like trapped in the closet. Listen to me. It was an artistic wow moment for me. Let me tell you why. Because ever since the Gale interview and he blowed up, he was crying and stuff. I said, yo, this man is, he is losing it. This is a lot of pressure on him. I wonder what he really thinking. Every interview, it was just about the accusations and the narratives out there. Thank you, Aisha, Angel's mommy. Uh, you said the song is old. I ain't never heard it. Thank you, Claude, for buying the badge. I have never heard the song. Never heard it. Y'all, the song is excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Because you get to see what he's thinking and what he's feeling about everything that is happening. And he basically admits in the song that he's a freak and that he's done some things wrong and that he probably have hired enemies and people turned his back on him. So he's responsible. He's not blaming them. He should have made better choices, even with the management and things of that nature. I thought it was great. I had never heard the song. And y'all telling me that it's old. I don't know if that's the truth. But I ain't, I ain't bit more know that he had that song out to the day and I went and listened to him. Y'all said if it, it have came out a few years ago and it's the exact same way. Somebody said it wasn't a full at middle. It was a full at middle of his truth. Just because somebody said, listen, the only thing we know is that he forrupted that young girl in that video. That's it. Or the evidence of that. Everything else, we ain't got no evidence of it. Just talking. Let me tell y'all something. I know they don't mean much to y'all. But I'm a public figure. And I've always been where I'm at now. I understand that in a, in a different way. It is terribly important for people to be committed to the truth and facts. Not narratives, not what somebody said. I don't care how many people come up and say X, Y, Z. Because some of them same people turn, turn around, come back, say, okay, I was lying. Like that girl did um, on Cosmic. You just don't know. Everything he said in that song, I fully 100% believe that that was what he feel and think. 100%. I don't know what the truth is. So just like I'm saying for y'all not to take what there's no evidence of, I'm also telling y'all, you because there ain't no evidence, you then can't say, well, nothing happened. You can't do and one of them. You just can't. You just don't need to be in the business of, of trying to mess nobody's life up or mess them up psychologically. That's why I apologize to Admiral to Gray. We'll call to her. She said every time your name was mentioned, I mean, it was like, so I was like tormenting her 
and didn't even know it. So now, I've learned a lot. 2019 was my learning year. That's when I changed everything. I can do commentary and talk about what has happened publicly. Been very conscious to not bring harm. Now, I know people are still going to be bothered because of the jokes that I do, in my opinion. But that's different. And I get that. I understand that. But there's some stuff I can do being aware that you don't want to harm someone. So, and then we found out that there was no way medically possible. Well, there is a way, but it's highly unlikely that John Gray was freaking this girl. Because his... Uh, he, had a medical, he has a medical condition that doesn't make it easy. Not impossible, but it doesn't make it easy to do so. Diabetes is a combination of things. So it was just talking. Hell, it ain't eye pains or I worry. Official CJ said, no, her cheating husband did that to her, not you. Well, it was... Her husband that made the mistake that made it to where I got into it. But I have to be responsible. For my part, John be responsible for his part as it relates to Avatar. My part was the talking about it. That thing paused again. My fault is talking about it because I talked about it more than one time. I and mean, y'all know I've, I've done so many jokes. So every time she heard me and I was following the story. I was only thinking about the story I was not thinking about. I wasn't, some things I wasn't thinking about. But now I think about that. That's why you see me hit something one time and then move along. I mean, everybody can bear whatever one time. But that obsessive going on and on, I don't want to try messing nobody life. It's not going to happen. Okay. You said his pain just won't get in hard for her. That ain't the truth now. I know that sounds good with the narrative out there, but it ain't the truth. They getting it in. Of course, I haven't watched or been invited. So, I don't know. But according to, you know, just listening to both of them talk, mm -mm. he's pleasuring her. And apparently... According to what one of them girls there, his head game real good. So, if he can't get it up, he still can make a come. Just by using that tongue. And it's fat too. Which is best for clitoris stimulation. And it looked long. So, he might can get it there to the bowl. I'm into the, um, uh, what one of them? What you call that? No, that's the, um, uh, no, because I'm entering a half in. That's really where that spot is at, along with the clitoris. But she's standing there, so she ain't standing there not coming. That's not happening. There's not enough money <coughs> in John Gray and Relentless to make a black woman to stay with a dead pin. That don't never work. Mm-mm. Nope. I know that ain't true. And he's an artist. He freaking. She's doing some stuff to her. That was like, hmm. I stay. <clears throat> mm, well. All right. Somebody said there's not enough money for dead pain. Say it again. They want truth to him. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That was a blessing. Well, I'm going to let y'all go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of the, um, what you call them, badges. Who said I need a podcast? Hmm. You know what? Somebody will have, I'll have to get my manager to just totally brainchild it out. The way I just show up and do it. I don't want nothing else to think about. 
I got too much going on there too. I got too many jobs. I got way too many jobs. Mm. Somebody says, save this. I missed the beginning. Mm, right, I save it. I keep it up. I love you. When are you going to watch my documentary on Amazon Prime? Inbox it to me. I didn't know you had a documentary. And I don't even really know your name. Look for me. And Mike, well, your name look for me. Check your DM. Okay. If there's anybody asking me for money, I can't right now. I'm to the top. And I'm help all the I can help. We, you, we all in a recession. <laughs> all right. See you later. Bye. Hold on. Let me change what I just said. Holy Ghost just, just dropped this down in my spirit. The recession for us just means that we prioritize differently. But the recession ain't coming to our house. Not those of us doing the Taruma, the Titan. No. Ah, my God! It ain't coming to our house. But we prioritize it. And your business and your problem and your loan ain't on my list. All right? Bye.